And what struck me most, people ask me, what did you learn from this? I said, I was amazed, and I could feel it myself, how quickly any of us would deteriorate, how fragile our mental and emotional framework is, how quickly, for everyone in this room, how quickly we would fall apart without human contact, without hope. Now, you have enormous problems in Europe with refugees now, who also are, are on the edge of falling off that cliff of hope. Um, I even forgot what the question was. <laughs> yes, kill all the bankers. Yes. <laughs> Look, all, we know this is immoral. It should be illegal also. And it is, in fact, there are laws on the books in New York City and New York State to protect people from being thrown out of their apartments. It's very difficult in New York to throw people out of an apartment, almost impossible. There's a lot of intimidation from landlords to get people out of their apartments, but there's a lot of protections that are in place. <laughs> All the women got together and they said, no more sex until you guys stop this craziness. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys could do that, couldn't you? No more sex until all this craziness stops and we start dealing rationally with the world. Um, Look, domestic violence is obviously, it's, it's coming out of anger, frustration, pain, suffering, insecurity. People aren't innately bad, but we all behave badly under stress and anxiety, and when we don't know where we fit into the world. And I would say, again, without, without validating or dismissing the, the criminal activities of people out there who are killing other people and making everyone feel insecure. I'm not, I'm not saying that's okay, but I'm saying that, that these are human beings like us who are behaving extremely badly and there are reasons why middle class educated kids are being drawn into this movement. It's really bizarre. I have no answers for that, but you can't dismiss them all as criminals. There's, there's something going on here that we have to explore. And um, without exploring it deeply, I don't think we can change it. But yes, of course, we have to deal with them as criminals. Absolutely. And this is the worst possible moment for human rights in China right now. And no one knows what Xi Jinping is doing. Nobody. I've talked to intelligence services in 10 different countries, all of them intimately involved with China. No one can figure out where this guy is going, other than consolidating power. It's the worst time for lawyers, NGOs, human rights workers, religious workers, all those, the people that we tend to respect the most, those are the ones we would be putting in jail. Artists, intellectuals, poets. Um, it's a very bizarre time becoming very powerful and very rich and no one knows where it's going.